Hi everyone, it's Chanel here from The Heart and Soul with your weekly oracle card reading for March 6th through the 12th, 2017. Using one of my daughter's favorite decks here. Let me see if I can get the picture. There we go. Magical Unicorn Deck by Doreen Virtue. Uh, this was a deck that Doreen had created. Um, it's kind of an older deck that she had created that was a little more geared towards children. Uh, there is now a children's deck called the Cherub Angels card deck. And it's great. The cards are only about this big. They're kind of small. Uh, so they're perfect for little hands, as well as all the little things on the cards are kid-related. So homework, parents, uh, friends, it is absolutely made for kids. This is still my daughter's favorite deck, although she owns the other one, just because it's filled with unicorns, which are her favorite thing. Let's see what the cards are this week. So our first card we have is love. The answer that you're seeking is in love, which is appropriate when we're in the age of Aquarius where everything is about love. The second one is happy thoughts. To feel happier right now, think about a memory or something else that makes you smile. Beautiful. And our third card is change. The changes that you're going through are positive. seems that everybody has been going through a lot of things over the, na the last little while, a lot of shifts and changes to really get us into that space, that heart-centered space that we are headed towards. This week, it's really calling towards the heart, um, and it makes me laugh because last night, uh, teaching yoga, that's where I was drawn to, hands to heart center constantly. It was a really soulful practice where we talked about connection. So the universe is asking you about this week. Where is your connections lie? And things start with your connection to yourself. You know, when we think about love even, we can't attract love when we don't love ourselves. Our love starts with self-love. Our connection starts with the connections that we have to ourselves. We can only be as connected to other people as we are to ourselves. If we are disconnected within ourselves, it's going to make us have difficulty creating and cultivating relationships and connections with other people. Same with love. If we don't love ourselves, how do we expect anybody else to love us? So we're probably not going to attract the kind of love that we want when we're not loving on ourselves. So this week, the universe is asking you to connect to that, to that feeling of love and that connection to yourself to what really fills you up, what, you know, fills your cup, what makes you feel satisfied, feel whole, feel connected, feel loved. What are all these things put together? These don't necessarily have to be things that we're doing for our career, but it does have to be things that we're doing for ourselves. If we're not taking the time to connect with ourselves and fill our cup on a regular basis, then we're running on empty. For myself, I'm very busy as a mom of three. I have my lovely fiance. Um, I also have multiple jobs that have crazy hours because being a yoga teacher and a dance teacher um, and managing a yoga studio it requires me to work some kind of unusual hours. I don't work Monday to Friday, nine to five. And things like dance competitions take my time away on a weekend and I have tons of fun and I'm so grateful to be with all those lovely girls and their amazing parents who tote them around and dress them and undress them and costume them and make up them and hair them and all the things in between. Um, but I get really tired because my cup isn't as full because I haven't had the time to rest or eat properly or, you know, maybe take time to get to my mat or take time with my family the same way that I do on those weekends. So it's really important. The universe is asking you, what do you do to fill your cup? Really look at that question this week and the answers that come with that. And are you doing the things that you need to to fill your cup back up? So a little love, a little happy thoughts, and a whole lot of change going on right now. So stay in that place of the heart. Stay in that place of happy thoughts and positive thoughts because it will get you through this change with a lot less bumps on the road than if you can dwell on those negative thoughts and feelings and that sort of thing. So this week, you got your, your assignment, what fills your cup? Maybe comment below, what fills your cup? I'd love to see. From my heart and soul to yours, I'll see you again next week.